What up everyone? It's your boy Magnus. Back in the 1-6 world after another long hiatus. But uh, you know, the love is always there. And uh, what a way to come back, man. Uh, this is it. This is something I've been clamoring for, man. Uh, you know how it goes. I've been doing video promotions on this and uh, throwing stuff out there on the Freaks board, YouTube, you know. What can I say, man? You've already taken a look at it. It's Rain Man's Pee Wee Herman and the X1 bike, which is just insane, guys. Totally, 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 totally taken aback from this. Um, if you guys know, I have a big infatuation with Pee Wee Herman ever since I was a kid. And um, I just can't express how much I love this character in this movie. Um, I actually was introduced to Pee Wee back in the HBO special back in the early 80s. And um, I used to like that. It was fun to watch with my dad. We used to watch it all the damn time and learned everything from John B to Mecca Lecca High, Mecca Heine Ho, all of that stuff. And Pee Wee flying at the end. He got his wish. And then uh, Pee Wee disappeared for a bit and then came out with this feature film. And uh, I remember the first time seeing the commercials as a kid and seeing the bike. And I wanted that bike so bad. I wanted to have that bike. I thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. And just when we got to go see the movie, it was magical, man. I mean, it's, how could you not like that movie being a big kid? I mean, uh, being a kid, I mean... That's what Pee Wee is, he's like a man child. He's just like a dude that, you know, never grew up, man. He loves all the fun stuff in the world and I feel like that's me as well. So maybe that's why I click so much with the character, but uh, the movie blew me away. And um, when I was about, I'd say probably like 1986, 1987, I don't know how old I was, I was like 10 years old or whatever. And um, my brother had gotten the VHS cassette as a gift and uh, we ran that thing to the ground. Uh, I'm clamoring too much about it, but uh, let's get into the actual figure, man. Um, I gotta thank my friend Rain Man. Uh, Lee, you came through big time for me. And uh, all us freaks that really love this character. And uh, it really shows and shines through, man. I mean, what a beautiful piece. Excellently tailored. Straight down to the, uh, you see here, you got the uh, shortcut sleeves, a little wrist showing. And the uh, high water pants with the socks showing there. Pretty damn cool. This guy has uh, white shoes with the little tassels in the front. And you get up in there, you can see that. Look at look at the detail on that. Look at that's all sculpted in people. Unbelievable work by the master. Rain man. Never forget this, brother. You really came through for us. Um, right here you see the Glen plaid outfit, which is the pants right here. You know, tight fitting, that's how Pee Wee wore them high up. And his uh, suit jacket and white shirt underneath. He got his little pocket napkin, uh, red bow tie signature. And you could actually call that the boomerang bow tie from the movie. Uh, it was actually never used in the film, but uh, it's in the deleted scenes if you own the DVD or Blu ray, so you could check that out. I'm glad they cut that scene out because it wasn't really a big deal. On to the beautiful Paul Rubens head sculpt. Uh, a lot of controversy over this head sculpt, so I'll get into a little story over that. I mean, right here, as you can see, it's a very good likeness to Pee Wee Herman, but it's not 100% Paul Rubens, but it's there, and I, I'm gonna see if I can attach some pictures at the end of this video that I took, because it really shines through in the photos. But Rain Man uh, was introduced to Pee Wee by me. I showed him the movie, and uh, he wound up loving it. I explained to him that it was Tim Burton's first film. Danny Elfman's first film, as you could hear the great soundtrack to this, and basically got Danny Elfman a job doing everything else after that. And um, yeah, the, the story with the head scope was Rain Man uh, was introduced to the character by me, so he wasn't familiar with the film as much when he started the project. So his first idea was to do something really fun as he was stressing out at the time with a lot of things that were going on in his work life. And he went with this fun sculpt here, which I have a photo of. Which was a great idea, it's nice with the tongue sticking out and everything, but uh, the problem was that it looked a little too fat for Pee Wee. But uh, Rain Man was going to say that it would, uh, you know, it would have slimmed down a bit in the, in the uh, casting process. But a lot of freaks, you know, we came together and we felt that Pee Wee needed more neutral pose and not something so excited unless that was going to be a second head sculpt. 
So Rayman listened to the feedback and went back and sculpted this uh, head that we have here right now. And uh, I really think it's a better choice. It suits the character a lot more. As you can see here, he's got his little painted lips, his uh, trademark smile. I have another light here. I'm going to turn it on see if you can get maybe a different look. You yeah, see, now with this light on, it really brings out Rayman's paint. And you can see the likeness is a lot more there. It's, it's pretty, pretty crazy. So in the right focus and the right lights, this, uh, this piece really, really shines through even more. I'm in love with it. Let me get up uh, more close on the face. You can see the, uh, let's see, I don't wanna get no shadows in there. Um, focus, focus. Let me see, all right. So yeah, you got Pee Wee's teeth. This is not happening. Let me see if I might have to turn this out again, guys. All right, so let's get this focused in. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so the teeth are there, the lips smile, got the eyebrows, you know, the little uh, comb up hair in the front. I'll turn them around so you get the full look. Um, I'm using right now some uh, Slim True Type uh, hands from the original Slim True Type figure because the skin tone is closest to matching Pee Wee. Thanks to my boy Comtech for uh, pointing that out. And uh, speaking of some fellow freaks, I'd like to throw some names out there to thank in this review. I know it's going to be a long review, guys, so just bear with me. I haven't even got to the bike yet. But uh, I'd like to thank my boy Short Round for, you know, hooking up the connect. Uh, my man, uh, Marf Master, for making my uh, signature and picture and, you know, helping my Pee Wee campaign. And, uh... A lot of guys that also helped, uh, Kara Mazoff, Ape Samurai, Turbo Ozone. Uh, if I left you out, guys, you know, like I said, I can't remember everybody off the bat, but uh, thank you all, man, for uh, contributing and helping out with the project. Uh, everything, you know, was a big help in getting it done. And also, I can't forget a real big thank you to Gary23. Uh, his bike definitely helped push the project over the edge once Rayman seen the interest for uh, his bike that uh, he knew that he wanted to do Pee Wee, that, that, that there was a genuine love for Pee Wee that uh, Gary's bikes had sold out like that. So Gary, uh, thank you again. If you don't know, Gary made a bike for me also and I have that in my uh, last video with my grill contest, so check that out. And uh, if you're looking in the background at this Pee Wee sketch, that's by my man Turd Ferguson, my boy Chris from Long Island, a uh, buddy of mine that I deal with on the Freaks. He's a real cool brother, and uh, he gave me this for my birthday, man. He sketched this in pencil, and I think it's uh, amazing, man. I got it. He gave it to me in a frame, signed it on the back, and everything. And uh, I got blessed with a lot of Pee Wee love on my birthday, so I, you know, I can't even uh, complain, man. It's just it's been a great year for me as far as this is going, and uh, trying to do a positive outlook on life. So I think when you put out that positive energy, a lot of good things come back to you. And uh, I believe that because I'm sitting here today and reviewing this figure that was just a dream a year ago. Uh, this is one of, like, I don't have many more grails left. And uh, this is definitely one of the, my all-time favorites, if not the best, that I own with this bike also. So now let me get into the uh, accessories that came with Pee Wee. And then I'll get into the X1. I know you guys are waiting for that. So this is Rayman's limited art as usual. You got the uh, full set. There was no DX this time, so Rayman only did the one head. So this head is just a old, uh, old version. You're never gonna see it. <laughs> and uh, I have number 10 out of 30, so that's pretty cool. I wish I would have got number one, but uh, it's all good, man. It's, you know, it's not about the number; it's about the figure and the love. So here we go. We got uh, the secret item that was only with the full set. So if you bought the head and clothes set, you did not get this. This is uh, the bike horn from Chuck's Bikorama that Pee Wee went to go get from Dottie. Uh, and then his bike was stolen in the process. So that's a very important item to have. And Rayman, as simple as it is, he sculpted it to detail. This looks like real metal and screws and it's, it's not as sculpted, man. It's just pure craziness. It's got the red button, as you can see here. It's not clickable, but you get the idea. On to the ear, the giant ear that was in uh, Mario's Magic Shop. And you could throw that right on Pee Wee. And it uh, sticks right there. What? What? So, you know, you get that little pose and then you put Pee Wee's arm up. You got that. I'll show that in some of the pictures also. A very cool little item to have. Um, let's go on to the 
Satan's Helper's Bike Vest, which is a really, really cool accessory and uh, really, you know, is a kickback to the movie. As you know, when Pee Wee uh, walked into the bike uh, shop to use the phone, I mean, to the biker bar to use the phone, and he started a little beef with these guys because he couldn't hear what he was saying, and they snatched him up, so he asked for a last request, and that leads to these here, and uh, Pee Wee borrow these shoes from a dude and uh, put on tequila on the jukebox and he did his dance to save his ass so as you can see here these are the tequila shoes they're amazing look at the detail on those perfect they got the big stomp in them the big sole and uh, I'll see if I could put them on in the review but let me uh, just get to everything else first but uh, they're they're amazing just so cool to have I Pose them in some great pictures doing the dance, so I hope, like I said, to attach them at the end of the video. And yes, the Satan Helper's Vest, going back to that, so you got the Harley Davidson Eagle patch, the motorcycle patch, the accurate skull patch, and the only thing I'm missing here, I don't know if I overlooked it when I got this, I gotta holler at Rayman and see maybe it was a problem, but Pee Wee had a little uh, circular button here that said, Evil, Wicked, Mean, Nasty. Um, it might have been too small to fit all of that on a little circle, so maybe that's why it was skipped out on. Not really a big deal. And then we go to the back, of course, and you got the Satan Helpers logo. And the Ride to Live, Live to Ride, Skull and Wings. And those are accurate to the film. Took a lot of HD shots to get all these patches correct. So I hope everybody could appreciate that. And then we also have... Pee Wee's hitchhiking stick and sack with the uh, red spots on it, so that's pretty cool. Probably make the uh, hand with the big thumb one day just to, you know, add to photos for that, so that's really nice. And now we're here, we're up to the, uh, the main event of my video, which is the one of a kind in the world X1. I'm not rubbing it in, guys, I'm not rubbing it in. <laughs> I'll get to the story on that. Um, when I had pitched this idea to Rain Man, I also told him I thought that the DX version should be the bike and that uh, if people would uh, buy the bike and they sell these Schwinn bikes that are basically the, uh, the mold that this bike was made from, which is the Schwinn Phantom. And, uh, you know, it's been modified a lot. So I was figuring if people bought their Schwinn Phantoms, we could send them to Rain Man and have them do it. But uh, Rain Man is a busy man and he has a schedule to keep. So as much as he said he wanted to do this for everyone, he couldn't. And, uh, but he still seen my passion and love for this and he told me that he wanted to make me the bike. So uh, as much as I, it hurt, I knew that Gary was doing his also. So I couldn't pass up the opportunity for Rain Man to bless me with this gift. And uh, I, I went for it, man. And uh, I hope you guys could appreciate this piece. It's a labor of love from Rain Man and, and it's my most cherished prize in my collection. And I'll take this to the casket, just like I said with my Fluffy and my Pee Wee right here. You could bury me with these boys because uh, they're not going nowhere. I won't sell my bike for all the money in the world. Not a million trillion dollars. I know that I'm crazy, right? Well, I know you are, but what am I? So, uh, yeah, next up, I printed these out, which were pretty cool. This is the blueprint for the X1 that uh, Tim Burton drew up while, you know, in the process of making this movie. And uh, if you check out everything here, you have all the sketches about everything that the bike has to offer and that uh, made it into the movie. So uh, very, very cool, the sketches. And then this was the picture that uh, I had first posted on Rain Man's page that lets you uh, see the bike completed and uh, all the gadgets and how everything worked. And you know, you see right here, the best bike in the world, AKA the X1. And uh, basically everything that you see here in this picture, Rain Man touched on the bike, minus the mirrors. And on Gary's bike, we're missing mirrors also, but as far as I can tell, Rain Man said they were very hard to uh, cast, they'd snap, and it uh, didn't work out in that way. So if I ever come across some mirrors, or if anybody knows, some Schwinn one six scale mirrors, hit me up and let me know in a comment. That's the last thing I'm looking for to add to this bike to make it 150% perfect like it's not already, you know? And uh, so yeah, you see all of that. And now let's get to the actual bike. Um, this bike is very, very fragile, so um, bear with me as I go over it slowly and try not to move it around too much. As you can see here, we have the side carriage. The, uh, let me start from the back over here, I'll get up. 
As you can see the double carriages, all the uh, reflectors, the um, mud flap on the back. And then we're going over to the top back uh, cat, uh, compartment with the ruby plexiglass right there. I don't know how Rayman does this, but he gets all these pieces in detail and into scale. It's just amazing work. As you can see here, the uh, the grill on the on the back wheel cut out. Now onto the uh, the casing to the uh, chain of the bike. You can see it's perfect. I'll run this back up. Into here, you have the grill and the side compartment, uh, side tank, as you would call it. Um, coming to the front, we have the little energy rotor that would rub against the wheel to give the X1 power. The spiral, uh, uh, you know what you would call these, man, but uh, you see the swirly, the swirly wheels on the wheel. <laughs> um, we also have the uh, fan in the front, the little, uh, that does not rotate, guys, so it's stuck in that position. I will not even touch it. Rain Man gave me very specific instructions on what can and cannot be touched on this bike when you move it. It's very delicate. So basically, I have to handle the bike with two fingers from that spot right there. That's about it. But the bike is light as a feather, so it's easy to move around. Um, if you give me a second, I will turn the bike to the other side and you can get a better look at everything else. Uh, let me move some of these things out of my way. Uh, apologize for this, guys. Just bear with me. And let's move the X1 up close. Now you will see on the handlebars, we have the tassels on the, on the uh, handles themselves, colored tassels. Um, the button compartment, which the blueprints also tell you that is the ejector seat and the smoke screen button, so pretty cool there. The uh, gear shifter, of course the beautiful lion head or tiger head, sculpted to perfection by Rain Man, painted movie accurate. I'm trying to get this in there guys, focused. Oh man, yeah, you know, there you go, hold on one sec, alright, there you go, oh, it's not catching at 100, just a reflection, but you can see right there, beautiful. And then on to the other side, let me move the bike again. All right, resting on that kickstand right there. That's all it is, is keeping it real on a little kickstand. The uh, rest of the lion head, there you go, or tiger head, like I said. Um, you see here the walkie-talkie. An amazing thing about this also, bear with me, is it's magnetized with its cord, so it does come off and stick back to the side of the cabinet or I mean to the base or you can actually stick it on the handlebar itself as you can see here also Raymond added the other handbrake and let's twist this bad boy around once more and we'll get to the rest of this lean okay and also Pee Wee's Bell and the cool thing about Pee Wee's Bell I use the RPF form a lot of people trying to replicate the bike out there and I got a lot of great pictures um, the bell actually had a little decal of Mickey Mouse on it and Rain Man even caught that. If this camera can focus in. Oh, hold on one second. Let me uh, stand up and try. Well, you get the idea. It's very small, so it's hard to focus, but there is a Mickey Mouse decal on there, movie accurate. And then you will also see on the back of the uh, lion uh, piece there is the whole screen and which is also movie accurate let me see if I'll put this light on to help catch these things better yeah there you go that is the full decal from the uh, actual prop they used in the movie so again 100% movie accurate the only way that Rain Man can bring it to you and you can see here also the compass and again this is uh the reflection is hard but um all the north, east, west, south, southwest, every line is there, guys. It is really there. This camera is just not picking this up. Let me see if I could just do it that way. I'm sorry. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. This is a crazy, crazy thing. All right. It doesn't look like it's going to show it, but trust me, they're there. You have all the buttons on the side of the console, which uh, on this side of the tank. There you go. All there, everything is there, guys. 
And here you go, the other side compartment. As you can see, the latch on this side is open. And this is the left side of the bike, which in the movie, you lifted this open and Pee Wee pulled out the chain, which he locked up to the clown and the uh, Galleria. And uh, that's where you see, that was the scene of the crime where the bike was stolen. So um, let me see the last thing I'm missing to show you here, which is probably the coolest, I guess, one of the coolest. All right, is the uh, property of Pee Wee Herman. The plate is there, it's stuck in with wire, just like it is in the movies, hanging on the two pieces of wire under the seat. Uh, a lot of fine details in this bike that my camera is not picking up, so apologies for all of that. But I hope uh, you guys can understand where I'm coming from and uh, appreciate uh, Rayman's artistry because this right here I think is his greatest if you know one of his greatest accomplishments if not his greatest uh, I'll put this right up there with Lucy as a, a testament to Rayman's skill and replicating basically anything in this scale the man is a genius and uh, once again I'd like to thank you uh, Rayman for uh, taking on this project and uh, being a part of the Sideshow Freaks and dealing with our quibbles and quabbles and arguments and comments and opinions every day and doing it with a smile and uh, pulling out beautiful work like this because uh, this is what keeps me in this hobby. Sometimes I get turned off with the abundance of stuff from Hot Toys and it's just overkill because I know I'd love to have it all but I just can't and I don't want to put it all over the place. I try to keep my stuff streamlined and beautiful and uh, your pieces really stand out there and uh, inspire me to uh, do these videos and I really love your work and um, I hope Paul Rubin see this one day and uh, can appreciate the love for the character as you can see here also I have my cherry that Emma Ray got me for my birthday and I have Pee Wee pose and some pictures on that as well uh, the Pee Wee's Blu-ray, the Pee Wee DVD, uh, this is a Pee Wee video and last but not least because Pee Wee was my grail as I told you this video I will announce my contest winner which I am sorry that it's almost like over a month late but I was waiting for Pee Wee to come to announce my winner because this was my uh, inspiration for that contest the grill contest and I'd like to thank everybody that participated so uh, as you can see here I got my grill my regular figure grill my horror grill of course was fluffy and uh, for natural actors this is my uh, grill figure right here Pee Wee Herman and the X1 the bike that I've wanted since I was a child. I don't own one that I can ride myself, but I own one that I can display in the scale of figures that I love. And my passion is here for this. And I think it is one of the most fucking beautiful things I've ever laid my eyes on. And thank you so much, Rain Man, again for doing that for me. I'll cherish it to the day I die, brother. Um, so real quick, bear with me as I pull out the prize from my contest. And I'm going to show you here. I already have everybody's names folded up. And there you go, the Uncharted 3 for the Grail Contest. I uh, have a couple names in there, people like Dean Knight that said that uh, if he wins, he doesn't want the game. So if his name comes out, I will make another choice. But as far as Clipper King and uh, Wayne's Butler, they are giving their game to Moggy. So Moggy's got a little uh, edge over everybody. <laughs> All right, um, here we go. I'm just mixing them around, mixing them around. And... Uh, here we go, I'm just gonna drop them down and close my eyes and pick one. All right, here we go. And the winner of Mag's Grill Contest, and I'd like to thank everybody that uh, contributed in this contest because I loved all your videos and hearing your uh, responses. It's uh, really cool and I appreciate that. And uh, I hope to come back more to the community, man, but it's, life is crazy and I try to do these things when I'm inspired and I can, so I hope you can bear with me and appreciate that. And the winner is, boom, the Clipper King. Just mentioned his name and out of everybody, that's the one that came up. So at the Clipper King's request, Moggy, this game is for you, brother. You are getting Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. So uh, hit me up on my YouTube and uh, give me your address and I will get this mailed out to you, brother. Thank you for everybody that contributed again. I will hope to do another contest when I, I guess I reach a thousand subscribers, which would be the natural uh, progression from the 500. And um, this is me, man. It's Mag. I'm here. Much love to everybody. Uh, 
Thanks to all the Sideshow Freaks again that participated in uh, helping this project become what it is. Thank you to Rain Man for sculpting this beautiful figure right here. And uh, this X1 bike, they are just gorgeous. The real truth. And uh, I guess, yeah, I'm not going to be able to dress Pee Wee. I'm going to try to attach photos at the end of this so you get some ideas of how cool this uh, figure is and how fun it is to play with and how it comes to life. And that's it. Uh, Mag's out of here, man. And uh, much love to everyone. Sideshow Freaks, YouTube, and uh, Paul Rubens, the master, Pee Wee Herman, Rain Man. Thank you. Much love to everyone.